Hi there. So I am out here today at my mom's house. This is the house I grew up in until that's our hound dog, my, my brother, Michael, in the military. Um, that's my hound, our hound dog. <laughs> And uh, he's got, he, we always say uh, he's all bark, no bite. He's just a big puppy. But, um, buddy, hey, now look, that's naughty. But anyway, I'm out here today at my mom's house. Hey, bud, this is Cletus. Cletus, you want to meet all my friends? Yeah, tell them hi, bud. Yeah. Say hi to Michael if he's watching. Yeah. You good boy. Um, so I'm out here at my mom's house and we're going to fix up her landscaping. It's been a while since we cleaned up my mom's landscaping. So my mom is so busy. She works full time. She also has a, a part time job on the side. And then she also does music lessons. So she gives piano lessons, uh, guitar lessons, voice lessons um, on the side side. So she just doesn't have time and can't be bothered to keep up with her landscaping naturally. So I am over here today and I'm going to do what I can. Uh, <laughs> it'll probably just be pulling weeds and uh, like edging is pretty much what I'll be doing. So I'm going to take you through, give you a little run through of what, of what we're working with here. And I'm sure our buddy Cletus will be helping out. I know buddy, you're just a good boy. All right, let's go, Cletus. This is the front of the house here, and these are, I don't know, I think probably like 15, 20 years ago we put in these grasses, and I think there were, I don't know, we put in a lot more than this, and they just grew and grew, and they're, they, they need to be taken out, but that's for another day. That is uh, the company that my brother Kenny works for. They do roof, roofing and all kinds of other home improvement things, but, uh, Anyway, we've got these fountain grasses in here and then a little path that needs fixed up. Uh, she's got some beautiful flowers in throughout here, but you just can't hardly see them because they're just, you know, it's taken over with lots of weeds and it just needs a good edge. Uh, there's some coneflower in there, some butterfly bush, some spirea that's blooming. I would trim that back because it's pretty big and unruly, but since it's blooming, we'll, we'll let it go. Um, some heuchera down here, and then uh, butterfly bush, and there's a flax in there as well, but this is mm, pretty bad. <laughs> um, and we have to be digging a lot. These boxwoods uh, were given to my mom by her cousin years ago. They were about a quarter of this size and they just are just beautiful and so maybe we'll give those a little bit of a trim and then over here we'll probably only work on this front bed for today because it needs a lot of work but um we'll give it a nice edge and uh round this off right here i should have brought my landscape paint that's what i should have done but this is a really nice retaining wall that my brother built he built that one and this one as well and we will We'll get all this cleaned up. Dang it, I wish I would have brought my my landscape paint. I could have drew a nice line. But we'll just, we'll try to figure it out. All right, let's get to this. Look at this Midnight Masquerade Penstemon. So pretty. I brought my new edger. I brought my shovel. Uh, and then I also brought the impatience that I've been um, meaning to bring over here and give to her. So. Uh, depending on, I don't know, we might end up putting the impatience maybe on that back side where it gets a little bit more shade. We'll see. Uh, the impatience do really good in my yard, but I have an underground sprinkling system that waters my grass that hits the impatience, so that helps a lot. My mom, as you can see, doesn't have that. Her grass is super dry. We've only had one rainfall in probably almost two months, so... Uh, and she doesn't obviously have time to come out here and water, so we'll try to put them in a, um, a nice shadier location. Uh, or we might have to do that in another movie. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. <laughs> I ended 
ended up obviously ripping that entire grass out. It used to be a fountain grass probably 20 years ago. <laughs> and as I was kind of edging, I noticed that there was no more fountain grass left. It was all dead and this just weed grass growing in there. So I ended up ripping it out. And I see a couple of fountain grasses over there that probably reseeded themselves. I could just dig one of those up and put it here. Or we can put something else here. I uh, will just leave it empty until my mom gets home and tells us what she wants. But that might be the case uh, for the other two grasses too. I don't know until I get in there, but you might see me dig those suckers out too. <laughs> very hard and it's very hard to even get my shovel or edger in there and I'm having to use like my arm strength over my leg strength to uh, cut just the slightest line it's so dead that once I cut just the slightest little tiny line and shove my shovel under there there's like hardly any roots on it so it's very very dry um, I ended up finding that cute little carex in there that's actually planted in the ground so we kind of unearthed that I found that little grass and then this one I'm cleaning up a little bit. There's still some weed grass in it and you can kind of see the difference between the fountain grass and the weed grass. So this, the weed grass here has these little like plumy wheat looking things on it and then fountain grass is just a plain, uh, you know, strip of grass. So I'm going in and trying to clean up all the, the weedy stuff around it to see what we're left with. I don't think there's any original fountain grass in here it's all like this completely dead and then it has reseeded itself like that there's a little fountain grass that reseeded there's one there's one there's one so I think all the original ones that we planted like 20 years ago are completely gone and these are just new uh, sprouts so we'll see I mean my mom might want to completely take these out for now I'll probably just end up planting that extra one in there and then she can decide what she wants to do. growing crazily and it's going to be beautiful when it blooms but I'm just going to trim some of these off because you can see there's a really pretty flax right here and it's getting covered by this butterfly bush so I'm going to go in here and prune some of these large stalks off that are just kind of intruding on the other plant space. Luckily I brought my ratchet pruners because this has got a really large stalk on it and I'm actually just going to go way down here 
can cut that right off. Found some coneflower in there. They're all kind of probably receding themselves in there. So I'm gonna dig all those up and maybe we'll plant them once we get like over in this area, we could maybe pop some in there because this area is lacking some plants, but we're doing pretty good so far. We'll keep it going. With a circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by. There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Well, I went back home, and home was lonely for my here uh, the line kind of naturally I think should go in again and then back out and wrap around I don't know if you can tell that so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that sedum out and it is being eaten by <laughs> grass anyway so I'm gonna take that sedum out because that's gonna go in the bed somewhere and I'm just gonna round this off go in like that so this will all be grass in here. Dig this out carefully. And yes, uh, it is like, you know, the middle of June and we're in the full sun. But like sometimes you just have to do what you gotta do. All right, so I'm gonna dig this out. <laughs> we'll get it in the hole right now with some water on it. That piece there. You want to come out here, bud? Oh, oh that's so cool. Check it out and see if I broke it. I tried so hard not to break them. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Yeah. Our friend, my neighbor friend, uh, Troy just stopped by and he was digging up this climbing rose out of his yard and asked me if I wanted it. So I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> so I'm going to go put it on some water and uh, we'll keep going. Like, look how dry this is right here. So dry that sedum will love it. That looks pretty good. And even though sedum likes it dry and um, kind of bad conditions, uh, it we will just you know get it off to a good start with this water. It's always the best when you get plants from somebody. No, it's just like kind of means more. Like don't get me wrong, I love buying my own plants. Uh, but when somebody gives you something, especially from their own personal yard, it's just really neat. So, all right, there you go, buddy. Hope that you love your new home. All right, the line is uh, naturally, like I said, kind of going in and it should kind of go like that and around. So all these plants in here, I'm actually gonna dig out and move into the actual bed. Once I get to here and I dig all that, maybe that's what I'll do is I'll take that sod and put it where these plants will have been.
sunflower I dug up that were actually underneath in there. So I'm just going to put them in a clump here and plant them. They should be fine. I'll just make sure my mom, my mom, although she's really busy and doesn't have time for, you know, this kind of stuff, um, she does water her plants every day. So I'll just let her know all the ones that got transplanted and may need to keep an eye on. My second load, um, I'm gonna go dump it and we're gonna use the lawnmower to do it. <laughs> After I dump this load, I might load up some rocks, put them up there in her landscaping. There's a better home away in the sky, Lord, in the sky, in the sky. She had good intentions, um, but I think I'm gonna lay some of this mulch down, at least all that we have here. And uh, that way we can kind of see some of it with a finished That's look. The good thing about Grandma's house was a great big feather bed. It was nine feet high, six feet wide, soft as a dining chair. It was made from the feathers of 40 living geese and a whole load of cloth for the tail. It could hold their kids and four hound dogs and a piggy we stole up on the shed. We didn't get much, but we had a lot of fun on grandma's little bit. It's got all these rocks and there's a ton more back there, but I'm just going to pick them up and kind of place them in throughout for some hardscape. I sure wish I had more mulch, but uh, she had these like landscape lights, so I'm just gonna go through and poke those back through, and then I'll clean it up and show you what we did. Uh, but we only made it to like that butterfly bush. Love my ma, love my pa, love granny, grandpa too. I went fishing with Uncle Ed and I even... All right, well, Gary is still mowing the lawn, and the sun is kind of. Uh, going behind some clouds here and it's cooling off when that happens just a tiny bit so I thought maybe I just uh, continue on and then uh, we'll get a little bit further again we won't we won't get to do mulch at all but at least I can kind of clean this up a little bit It's looking a lot better. I'm so excited for my mom to come home. But all right, let's look from this side. And look at that, it's so much better. The line is like a nice curve now. And we unearthed that beautiful little Carex, which is awesome. It was just loving its life under there even though it couldn't even be seen. I placed some rocks in there. If my mom doesn't like them, we can move them. Uh, but then we moved that sedum that was over there, like actually in that grass area, and we put it right here. So that's looking really nice there. And I just put 
a few racks around it. And then this is the star of the show right now, this Midnight Masquerade Penstemon. And I'm so glad that we did what we did right now at this time of year because it wasn't getting the glory that it deserved. <laughs> like, it's just beautiful. And uh, pretty soon these tick seed are going to start blooming as well. I think it's the Moonbeam tick seed, Coryopsis. And boy, wouldn't that be pretty if these were blooming while these were still going. So that's pretty awesome. She's got a couple fountain grass in there that we unearthed, picked up all the weeds. And here's a couple of spirea that need desperately trimmed, but as you can see, they're blooming right now. So I can't, I can't trim them right now. We'll come back in when they're not blooming and, uh, and we'll trim them off. But there's also a comb flower right there, uh, echinacea that, is growing kind of into this but it as well is going to get ready to bloom here pretty soon so we'll let that go and then maybe move it uh, uh another time this is a little allium that we moved to this spot it was also over there in the grass area so this bed it kind of went out like that and then in and instead i took it in and out so i had a bunch of plants in there and one of them was that allium. Got some heuchera in here. Looks really pretty. And then this is where the mulch stops. <laughs> so it's not as nice looking from, you know, from here on out. But uh, these are the a couple of plants that we moved that were in this grass area. Um, I also moved that penstem in there. So it's just some sweet william, uh, heuchera. Uh, that flower was all hiding in there so we dug it out and put it right here and we cleaned up this pathway these stepping zones were actually completely buried couldn't even really see them in fact there was one that was right here you can kind of see the square of it the outline so there's one like out in the grass as well but uh, this actually went kind of straight in and I dug all that side out I mean, it's like basically dead sod, but I've been watering it nonstop. So dug this chunk out right here and I put it right there. And I think before I post this movie up, I will get the rest of this mulched so we can see just like a finished product. But this will be kind of the in-between stage. That was a lot of hard work. But boy, there's something about just a before and after, taking something that's super tired and needs a lot of uh, attention and turning it into something beautiful and amazing. And I'm pretty sure my mom's gonna love this when she gets home from work. So um, I'm just really proud of her for how hard she works. Like I said, she basically has three jobs and she just got done with her uh, recital. Uh, last night we went to her recital and all her kids played music and they are just doing a great job and she spends so much time with those kids that she teaches music to and you know she doesn't have time to do stuff like this she's pouring into the younger generation and uh just building them up and teaching them great gifts that they can carry with them throughout their lives and sometimes this kind of stuff just falls by the wayside so i'm so happy to come over here and help her with this and basically all we have to do is mulch the other side and it'll be done and then i also have these uh, impatience. Look how pretty. We will come back here possibly tomorrow and we'll get an ending so that you can see the, the finished product for now. And then maybe we'll come back another time and we'll do one of her other garden beds. So anyway. Oh, KJ, my brother's here. Hi. What's going on? I was just telling everybody bye. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't think you'd still be here. I didn't either, but Gary started mowing the lawn. I thought, well, I can't talk when it's loud, so yeah. like, I might as well keep going. So I finished the edging. Hi, Hazel. How are you? Good. Good. Are you going to raise that tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. Amazing. Thanks. It's so much better. Look at all those rocks in the back by the field. Yeah, the rocks look nice. That was Nani's. Over. I thought that was Nani's, yeah. and I was like, One I can't. Yeah, she had like sedum planted in it or something. <laughs> wow. Yeah. 
I'm here at my mom's and uh, me and uh, Cletus here. My mom is getting ready to uh, come out and help me. She certainly doesn't need to, but she wants to. So um, we're gonna plant these in patience in this end section here and get it cleaned up a little bit. And uh, I might actually dig out like a little bit more just to make it a little bit rounder. When I was here the other day, I was getting real hot and I just did the bare minimum on this end because I knew, you know, I couldn't get mulch on it anyway. But um, I'm gonna clean up the remainder of the weeds and then maybe dig out a little bit since we're in the shade. <laughs> and uh, we'll get these impatience in what the What do you ground. think, Cletus? Are you a hound dog? <coughs> Are you a coon dog? <coughs> Are you a good boy? <coughs> yeah. You the good boy. Um, I brought her, <laughs> Mr. Cletus. <laughs> Mr. Cletus, no, it's naughty. I brought her this Lupin. And it's about to bloom. We're gonna put it right here in that hole. So what I'm gonna do now is take my shovel and just loosen up all this soil because I don't, I didn't bring my uh, hori hori knife and I didn't bring my drill with my auger. So I'm just gonna go in here, loosen it all up and get these impatience planted. It's gonna be beautiful. excited <laughs> oh my mom is, is shy today <laughs> for the first day in her entire life um we were excited because we thought there was a big old rock in there or maybe and we were doing some type of a, a yeah. line or something or yeah something. we weren't sure like we're like uh oh what is this we dug this up and it's got my little brother's initials in it johnny price i'm assuming yeah so I'm not sure what this is. It's literally just like a piece of cement. So I'm gonna we'll have to we'll have to do something. Maybe with we it. could just like leave it in here. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> sure. It might be kind of yeah. cool to plant impatience around it. Oh, that'd be cool. Or I don't know. Just for now. Well, I don't know if we want yeah. It might be like it may look like a great. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. So we just called my brother Johnny. Okay, we have a question for you. I'm at mom's and I'm working on a landscape and we're over here on the side of the house and I thought I ran into a rock but we just dug this up. I made that. You made that? Did he make that? Aww. Oh my god. That is so cool. One time when I was like uh, in 10th grade I made a Got a retaining wall right there. Oh. Aww. That from the home, down at the Ace Hardware. Snapbacks. Oh my gosh. What a wonderful story. Yes. It obviously just... didn't work. Yeah, but look, it's 2023 and like we just dug it up and me and mom are having like a moment. Aww. It's so, so precious. And we're going to save it. We're going to put we're gonna put it in like a kind of a rock somewhere so thank you it's not like a ancient egyptian stone it's someone someone's finger in concrete your finger in concrete is worth a million times more than egyptian stone yeah yeah you know that yeah. so we're gonna um we're gonna do it good all right, love you, bud. Thank you. All right. Love you, Johnny. Bye. So I don't know if you heard my brother, but he said when he was about like sixth grade, he made this. He tried to make a retaining wall. Aww. He's and trying to help he out. He put his name in it. Look. D J P. Aww. Hey, Johnny Price. It's so cool. <laughs> it really is. How precious is that? Woohoo! All right, we'll keep going. <laughs> Sitting in the porch swing, listen to the light rain. And on my tin, baby, just to me and you. Rocking with the rhythm of the rain. How long are you going to be 
be there for. You want to say hi to my friends? Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, I don't know. We we just started planting the impatience. Um, we got to lay the mulch after we're done. But, so, yeah, we're just chilling. We're kind of going down memory lane, looking at all the rocks that my nanny used to have in her yard. She loved rocks. And this was one of her rocks after she died. She gave it to my mom. And then we went over here by this little peony bird bath and rock. And this is another one of my nanny's rocks. And I don't know if you can tell, but it kind of like sparkles. Uh, you can't really tell. But she loved this rock so much and she planted in one of the holes, she planted like hens and chicks. And so, and I was like, I really love looking at this rock. I'm like, mom, we gotta clean this up. So we're just gonna clean up like a tiny little circle, pull this bird bath over. We have two extra bags of mulch. So we're gonna clean this up really nice. It's just a peony, my nanny's uh, rock and the bird bath. Boy, oh boy, we are almost done. We're just cleaning up our mess here. Uh, I can't wait to show you what we did to that tiny little area. My nanny would have loved it. She would have been sitting there in her little rocking say chair saying, oh, Chrissy, oh, Jesse, that just looks so nice. <laughs> so um, we found a few more rocks down there in that spot, and we're gonna place them in this landscape, and then I'll show you what we did. We didn't spend any money on any plants, no. right? We just moved plants that she already had. Everything is, we've been watering like nonstop, so that's good. Got this all cleaned up and mulched. Uh, I ended up putting like some rocks in there because it all, the mulch always washes out. So we put some rocks in there. She's got a couple of red lark delphinium she's gonna plant. Excited for her for that. And then this is where we put my brother's little thing that he made. So cute. Love that so much, I could cry. And then here are the impatients. Now, it's probably about 4.30. And I gotta put those things back on there, but it's probably about 4.30 and this is just starting to get sun. And it will only get sun for, oh I don't know, maybe like, three or four hours uh, until you know it goes down over the trees there so um, these impatients will love it and like I said my mom is really good about watering she loves watering so this just looks so beautiful I can't wait till it grows in but yeah I love it I love how it turned out Coreopsis are starting to bloom. It's going to be beautiful with the pink knockout rose and these penstemon. And then that limey baby doll pink spirea in the back. I just love it. I'm so excited for her. Now if we could just get God to give us some rain, <laughs> we could get the grass to green up a little bit. Uh, she wanted me to show you her planters as well. She planted this one up herself. This is probably why I love red geranium so much because my mom always planted geraniums. Every year. So pretty. My brother made these window boxes for her and we've got a brick house, so it's really hard to get window boxes up. So she just puts them in this corner and puts impatience in them. And then she's got the Red hanging baskets up here. You can see this beautiful clematis finally that was kind of hiding behind there. And I think this is my favorite view right here. Okay. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with my mom and I here at our at the house I grew up in. 
Um, I lived here until I got married, so the, and my mom still lives here after all these years. So this is like our home, our home away from home. And um, so it's just really nice to get this, the front part cleaned up. And we'll for sure come back and do some of the other garden beds as well. So, oh, before I go, I gotta show you what we did in the back there too. Actually, we'll walk around there right now because my mom, um, in the summertime, she turns her hot tub into like a pool, a little mini pool. So she's like, now come get in the pool with me and cool off. So we're gonna go do that, but I'm gonna uh, show you what we did around my nanny's uh, sparkly rock. Come on, please. So this is cute. She's got this hanging from a birch tree there. This is an old birch tree. But this is what we ended up doing. We moved the bird bath closer. It was kind of about right there. We moved it in and cleaned up my nanny's rock. She pruned up her peony and then we uh, just edged it up, got the, the grass, weedy grass out of there. All these rocks we found over there where I found the other ones. See, this is for you. And then, oh gosh. This is for you and you're gonna go in the hot tub and cool off for me. Okay. Cool. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, so we found all these rocks. Put We had an extra two bags of mulch, so we put one there and she still got another one. We put this little rock in there in case a bird wants to land on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Rockin' with the rhythm of the rain. So let the breeze. Jessica. To mom. <laughs> <laughs> to Johnny's retaining wall, oh, that okay. black that he, we found. <laughs> Could it go under and then move All in? the way under? We could. <laughs> no, we don't want to. We're going under? No, we want to. Oh, I don't we know. We don't have to. <laughs> like our hair? Sure. Oh, no. No, right. we don't have to. What are we going to counting to three? Oh, okay. All right, well, you gotta to... get you gotta get um, used to it first, don't you? I think I just gotta do it. Okay. All right. One, One, two, two, three. three. Keep the sweet.